Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I want to make. A, I'm bringing you a video here today. I wanna. I wanna kind of show you the the guts of this 516. I'm gonna break it down for you and uh, just show you some of the stuff that I've done. Um, real quick, I'll just tell you what I've done to it. Um, nothing really fancy. Um, put a TLR3 on there. Uh, this is. I have this on my home defense gun, always. Um, put a little short VG on this, a six hour, uh, six hour VG on there. The Ergo uh, ladder grips, and I, I put an aluminum trigger guard on here too. So I added that to the gun, and I'm gonna I'm gonna break this gun down for you real quick and show you the bolt and and uh, the piston. Okay, so now that we have everything apart, we got the buffer tube here, and this is an H-marked buffer tube. You probably can't see that on the camera, but it's an H-marked buffer tube with uh, seems to be standard uh, buffer spring uh, that I've seen in all my other yards. Um, just an H-marked buffer. Um, the lower is really solid. Um, what I really love about SIGs is is that little AccuWedge they put in there, that little detent that holds the upper and the lower really solid. Um, I really enjoy that with my SIGs. I don't like having play on any of my on guns and uh, and that's one thing. Um, just standard charging handle, nothing fancy there. Uh, I will be upgrading this soon. And moving along to the piston, the piston is very smooth. I haven't seemed to be having any trouble taking it in and out, and uh, it's really simple to to get back in line. Uh, and it, it seems to be really solid. The spring is it's got some good tension. It really isn't a piston. I apologize. I keep saying piston, but it, this this rifle is actually called a short stroke um, push rod. This is just a push rod. It doesn't ride on a cylinder. Um, so this is just a push rod, um, gas system. And, uh, you can turn this basically into a bolt action rifle where it'll just shoot one shot. Depending on if you have a suppressor or not, um, it's got adjustments for more gas or less gas. And, um, the bolt, is, I really like the bolt. Um, I'm going to do a little comparison to another bolt that I have here that it's nitron coated. I do love the coating on this bolt. Um, it seems to be really slick. It's got some kind of polish on there. Um, besides running uh, synthetic oil, um, I really like the bolt. So, um, like I said, the upper is really solid. I love the quad rail. It's a free float. And uh, the piston system just works really well. You can see the, the hole there where the piston... Uh, the push rod goes through and uh, standard feed ramps I like it and uh, so let's let's get let's get to look at this bolt real quick okay so here we have a nitron coated bolt that I bought from Johnny C 308 um, he was selling this um, to help out with the Randall fund so this is the bolt that I got it's nitron coated it came with a hammer and I really like it. It's it feels real slick too. I haven't um, gone to the range and shot it. Um, this goes into my uh, FDE, um, the Sig M400. I'm running this in there. So um, once I get to the range and I get to shoot, um, I'll I'll tell you how it does. Um, so as far as length goes, they're both identical. They got the identical amount of length everything seems to be pretty much identical what I, what I love about this bolt is well, they they took they did a lot of machining to this bolt if you can see there's a lot of places where it's it's been machined out you know like in the rear of the bolt you got machining marks not really marks but there's divots where they took metal out this bolt is really light it's it's really I want to say 30 to 40 percent, 35 percent lighter than this nickel boron bolt. 
this is really light. They did a lot of machining on this. They did a really good job at it too. Um, so you can see where they took metal out. But what I like about this bolt more than anything um, is uh, the simple fact that it's tapered back here. You see these on full auto bolts where they're tapered in the back. And plus, since it's a push rod system, what happens is, like on a DI, the gas goes into this keyhole. It goes in the chamber, goes into where the bolt sits, pushes the, the gas into the bolt here, pushes everything forward evenly, so you don't need that taper. But on a piston system, you're just pushing up here. There's nothing going down. It is it's closed up at the top you see there's just a divot to where that rod that push rod sits in so when you push up here your bolt instead of <laughs> my kids are in the background instead of pushing evenly it, it wants to rock it you know being that this is still inside the chamber it rides on a cylinder um, on these channels here this still rocks pretty straight but to help that can't, they tapered the bottom of it. Oh, they tapered all the way around. That'll help it go into the buffer tube a lot easier. So that does help. And uh, I like the bolt. I really do. But I can't wait to go shoot uh, my SIG M400 and, and see how this nickel boron bolt is going to handle. See how freely it's going to slide. It's just, it's just an awesome little bolt. And uh, I'm glad I have my hands on. I mean, right now this is probably worth double uh, as we speak what I paid for it. But uh, I'm not selling this. I'm keeping this, using this in my SIG M400. All right, guys, uh, let's move on to the next step. Let's talk about the, the sights just here for a little bit. These sights kind of mimic um, Troy sights. Um, what I mean by that is that the the design is somewhat similar. Um, what I what I love about sights like this is that they're flush fitting nuts, so you don't see any nuts sticking out. There's nothing there. It's just it's nice and flush. It fits really well. Um, I like I like that about these type of sights. Um, what what I don't like about this front sight, and it's not really a, a, a dislike, it's just um, I, I can see how companies, they, they can't really duplicate other companies. And, you know, there's reasons for that, you know, law reasons. Um, but like, once again, you don't see any nuts sticking out the sides. It's just the sight itself. What I would have loved is seeing these curve a little more towards the inside, kind of like the... The HK style, or you know, AK47 style. I like these these type of sights more so than I do like the, the M1 Grand or the you know standard AR15 sights. I like these a lot better. Um, you get faster acquisition with these, I think, in my eyes, um, than the other posts. Um, so I like these, but yeah, they're just a little too open for me. Um, but you know, rather than that. Uh, they're really good sights. Um, I like the way, like I said, the flush fitting. You don't see any bolts sticking out the sides or anything like that. Um, and the gas block is double pin. I like that. Um, it's not just screwed in from the bottom. It has a bayonet lug on there. And overall, the it's it it's not really front heavy either. Um, it really is really a balanced rifle. Um, so, alright guys, that's just, I'm just kind of showing you a little bit more of a show and tell. Just giving you a little bit more insight on it. Um, hope you like it, and uh, this video is pretty long, but I think it's worth it if you're, if you're a SIG fan. I am, and uh, this is my last, for a while, SIG rifle that I'm going to get. So, I'm going to enjoy this, and uh, hope to get to the range and shoot all my ARs soon. Alright guys, you have a good one.